getting close to the end of application security. Um, just uh, a few more topics to go. Um, and one of them here being, uh, well, uh, yeah, sort of a combination of, of three, uh, uh, slightly different, but uh, a lot of similarities between them, and that is uh, change management, uh, configuration management, and uh, patch management. Now, uh, not, not quite uh, identical, um, but uh, very similar in one respect, and that is that people think these are um, minor issues and therefore they do not need a process, and uh, that is wrong. Um, you should be going through the uh, system development life cycle process for all of these um, you know, perhaps not the, the whole thing or, or uh, some steps you may be able to go over um, reasonably quickly, but do not neglect going through the cycle, um, paying attention to the different steps, uh, particularly the uh, security uh, steps and tools along the way uh, to ensure that you've got the process correct. You know, it does us no good to develop a proper and secure system and then because somebody wants an additional function, uh, all of a sudden uh, we grow careless and, and we've got an insecure system all of a sudden. So, um, change management. Um, this is you know, have a process for all production changes. And, and again, it's, you know, it's going through the system development life cycle again. Um, uh, what is the concept? What is the objective? Uh, who initiated the change? You know, so you have the initiation stage. Um, what's the idea of this change? What, what is it that we need? What do we need to change? What do we need to add? Um, what is that going to do to the functionality of the system overall? Uh, what kind of security um, uh, do we need to add? Um, uh, you know, sometimes, uh, okay, you know, security uh, is, is being enhanced by this. But just make sure that it is enhanced, not uh, just think that it might be enhanced. Um, so, uh, modifying uh, existing applications um, and and please when we go through change management though one step here remove the old applications there's far too many stories of, of people going through uh, you know having multiple versions um, uh, people not realizing that they're entering data into the old system and it's not making it into the proper database and, and uh, all kinds of issues there. So remove the old applications. Um, uh, you know, if, if you're complaining, you know, oh, but if we remove the old application, something may break, you want to find out if it's broken, if it breaks, because if it breaks, that indicates that you've got a, a linkage, uh, a reliance, a dependency there that you didn't realize and and you need to uh, you need to fix that so um, so uh, you know have them the request process for changes uh, you know make sure that it's authorized tested documented accredited certified so um, have the uh, uh, configuration management. Uh, well, I, yeah, I suppose I should say, you know, at this point, um, the the change management. An awful lot of people uh, think, okay, let's let's develop our own. We don't have to go through. We don't actually have to change 
the uh, system itself, uh, we can just add another tool on here. And, and you get the citizen programmers, you get the informal processes, and all of a sudden, as I say, you know, we, we now have something that's insecure because of a function that nobody uh, knows about, realizes was there, and, and nobody's looking at this particular application because they don't know it exists. So, you know, avoid that. Have, have a process. Uh, authorize these things. Even if you think it's a quickie, um, you know, just, you know, go through the process. That's why the process is there, to maintain your security. Um, configuration management. Um, this is often neglected, uh, and, and, you know, most of the time this is, you know, hardware or, you know, devices, whatever. Uh, and so what is the configuration? But manage the configuration here. Uh, uh, and, and it does apply to uh, certain aspects of um, software. For example, the software dealing with networking and, and that sort of thing. Um, our, our management software, uh, setting the uh, permissions properly. Just, you know, just because it's a utility doesn't mean it always gets universal virtual access and, and stuff like that. Um, so again, configuration management, go through the phases of the system development lifecycle. Make sure that we are doing it properly. Uh, make sure that we uh, are being secure, are uh, ensuring and maintaining our security. Uh, and patch management. Now, patch management, again, you know, this is, this is kind of change management. Um, uh, closer to change management than, than configuration management, probably. Um, and patch management has an additional pressure here because patch manage, patches are most often issued. I mean, sometimes they're issued for functionality, adding functionality. Okay, fine, you know. In that case... Uh, just, you know, do your testing, do your uh, assessment analysis, um, you know, you before you uh, turn anything on, but you don't really have the pressure. But the, the pressure comes when most of them are security, that they're fixing a bug, they're fixing a problem, they're fixing a vulnerability, something that can be exploited. And so we want to ensure that we deal with this reasonably quickly because the uh, the the patch the, the vulnerability is is there, and as soon as the patch is issued, um, everybody knows what it is, and so there is going to be this window before. You apply the patch where you are vulnerable, but we don't want to just apply the patch willy-nilly. We do want to do some testing. Um, we have had lots of instances where people install patches before they have fully tested them, and therefore uh, they, you know, they run into problems. But you know, we we want to do it properly, but we want to do it, and we want to do it quickly. So we've got this pressure. Uh, acting on us between, uh, you know, the, the window of opportunity of attack and the need to, uh, to test and, and assure ourselves that we are not creating a problem. So, 